ನಮಿ ಧನ್ವಂತರಿ ಮಾಿದೇವ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತ ಪಾದಪದ್ಮ ಲೋಕೈರ್ಜರಾರು ಭಯ ಮೃತ್ಯುನಾಶ ಧಾತಾರವೀಶ ವಿವಿಧೌಷಧಿ so i will share my thoughts about guidelines of competition uh, for the new participants actually uh, it, it was a uh, it was a first international essay competition on concept of health and the topic was future scope and strategies for preservation of health through ayurved there were attractive and very very prestigious awards like atreya award agnivesh award charak award and drubal awards we have planned the awards to create the uh, concept of health on a global platform to present the concept of health on the global platform what we are going to see uh, in the next half an hour is uh, the first is the objective of competition dr basish sir has already shared the objectives of competitions i will be sharing some of the uh, some of the views about the participants then expected topics of in essay factors considered in scrutiny assessment parameters and the submission guidelines so the objectives of all the process is searching health in today's era what is the concept of health what we are going to uh, the educational talk we have organized this educational talk series on health perfect, uh, perspective by experts in uh, in the field and we are uh, we are going to understand we are trying to understand actually the concept of health how we can shift the paradigm of healthcare providers towards healthcare actually in fact from disease care we are because we are focusing more on disease and less on health so we need to find the healthcare perspective in today's era and the third objective is about creating awareness about the potential of preventive aspect so that uh, preventive aspect of ayurveda and other systems so that uh, the patient should not be a patient he should be a healthy individual and Uh, he can restore his health preserve and protect his health understand his health so for that we our uh, we the healthcare providers need to understand what is health that was the uh, objective of this uh, process so in this who can participate you know the writing process is from within process anyone can be the writer so all the undergraduate post graduate phd scholars registered healthcare providers and researchers and practitioners there, there is a wide scope of participation wide range of participations and from the streams of ayurveda and allopathy they can participate in this competition what are the expected topics to be covered these topics were declared in the brochure also and we have organized this educational talk series on each of these topics as uh, upendra dikshit sir has uh, elaborated his uh, the concept and components of health everyone in next 4 uh, days till friday will be elaborating the all the topics like components of health and their importance practical guidelines in applied researches prevention of disease modern healthcare system future strategies for preservation of health like it is it is a learning process in on all the topic and each expert we deliver his talk on each of the topic uh, the method of assessment in for the essay competition was first we have scrutinized the essays and then second we have adjudicated the essays zone wise and finally we have uh, taken the zonal uh, rankers and uh, evaluated those essays so uh, as the content i will foc- i will focus more on the factors which we consider during scrutiny so the factor we uh, factors we consider in scrutiny are language that is the first part then grammatical mistakes or spelling errors overall structure of the essay has the essay participant covered all the topics in the essay utilizing total word limit there is a fair good word limit of 5000 words to elaborate the views the thoughts of the participant reference and standard citations and plagiarism less than 5% so the assessment parameters are available on the given links on the website the detailed distribution of scoring is also available so that you can 
go for the scoring pattern, uh, see it and assess your essay, improve your essay. We have communicated the shortcomings also uh, to the participants personally who have inquired about the same. The shortcomings, the, uh, the views of the judges are also available on website. So these are the, there are uh, the assessment pro forma, the criteria was having 100 marks in total. That was purely objective assessment and each of the components shown on the slide was having 10 marks each. So the content part was having 80 marks about the health perspectives. Presentation was having 20 marks like we have covered, we have seen uh, evaluated on the basis of overall structure and presentation of the essay in view of neatness and comprehensive presentation free from the deformity of reiteration that was carried, uh, carrying five marks. Then standard uses of language, five marks, use of data and graphics, five marks, proper citations of reference, five marks. So I will focus more on these 20 marks as other speakers, other experts, the senior experts will talk on the content of 80 marks. So I will share some of the examples also about the language. So the language, what for, for whom we are writing, we are writing for the global community. As Basish sir has rightly pointed out that we, are, we should have a larger vision to speak, to communicate with the globe, not only to India or not only to Ayurvedic community. So we are writing for the global readers to make them understand the potential of Ayurveda, the, the potential of health perspective of Ayurveda in a better language. So the language we have given, it shall be English only and Sanskrit should be less. Language shall be understood by the global community. A community. Sanskrit verses are not expected in the essay because Sanskrit, uh, though it is a very wonderful language, uh, I respect Sanskrit language, but it is not understood by the new learner or the reader of the content. So we can use English only. The interpretation of the concepts and applications is expected. If you have observed how Upendra Dixit sir has delivered his lecture, he has uh, in vocal format, he has uh, communicated all the messages in English only. On, and on the screen, the verses were available for reference. So we need to present our views in English only not in Sanskrit. So the language should be free from repetitions and the word limit, word limit of maximum 5,000 words, excluding references, excluding references uh, is to be utilized. So I will show you some of the examples. As you can see on the slide, I have taken these examples from the submitted essays only. You can see these Samadosha Samagnish written by Ayurvedic, uh, written by the author uh, about Ayurvedic definition of health. A new reader will not be able to understand these words and he will, uh, as we are not understanding the Chinese language, he will not be uh, able to understand this Sanskrit language. So we need to avoid, this is a wrong uh, presentation. Then you can see the reference like su.su. As an Ayurvedic scholar, we can understand this first su is for Sushrut and second is for Sutrasthan. But the new learner will see, will, will not be able to understand what is this uh, for. Then this text, Samadosha Samagnesha, will not be able to understand by the uh, readers. So I will give you the right example. You can see the author has cited PubMed, Google Scholar. He, uh, the author has research on the Google Scholar, PubMed, Science Direct, Cochrane, like all the database. And uh, the concept of health is given in the author's language with proper referencing. You can see the numbers of references superscripted in the text. So this is a better presentation for as far as the language is concerned. Then you can see the example, the second example, like in the box, he, he has given, uh, the author has given the health philosophy in the box and you can, uh, the bullets are given very nicely uh, so that the concept is understood by the readers in a, in a very uh, uh, good way, nice way. This is again a good example of creative presentation. The earlier were, uh, were the paragraphs. Now those are the flow charts or figures or diagrams. We can understand the pictures speaks more. So the flowchart speaks more in uh, 
uh, we can present our thoughts in the form of flowchart so that it can be helpful for the understanding of the readers. Then second major part shortcoming was about the references. The references from Ayurveda text should not should be quoted at the end of the text only as references only and not within the text. We have a habit of quoting the references in bracket lectures so like that, but we need not to quote it. We need to quote it at the end only. The references from standard journals and publications shall be quoted. You know, we need to, uh, it is like uh, coming outside of Sanhita. Sanhita was written 5000 years ago and the principles are applicable, the or, but the practices have been uh, significantly changed. So we need to see what is going on uh, in the globe, in the scientific community. We need to search for it. We need to study the views, study and refer the views of contemporary researchers and applied aspects. For, uh, for substantiating the claim, the researches have already been done, but we need to search them and refer them in our essay. The guidelines for references are also available on the website of Charak Sanita. This, you can see the examples from the essay, how the authors have quoted references, like example one, Charak Sanita P.V. Sharma, no one will get the full reference. Ashtang Rude Sutrasthan, how we can get the full reference, it is not, it is a wrong example, a wrong presentation. Then this bibliography is given, the bibliography is not expected, the superscripted references, as per the referencing style, quoted in the text in the uh, in the form of numbers and given as end notes these things are expected you can see the right example like he has given agnivesh charak drudbal charak sanita sutrasthan the references are as per the guidelines given on the website so you can just cite the references properly so that you know the reading of a research uh, reading of an essay for example, if the essay has 30 references, then the reader will get 31 references, including your essay. Like there are 30 references, 30 more articles to read, and one article of yours. So there are 31 uh, resource material from your one essay, which has referred 30 references. So we need to quote the references properly so that if the reader wants to go to the original source, then the original source can be cited and uh, the, the, the source can be studied also. Then one query just came that how to check the plagiarism and copyright. I will uh, show you how to remove it. But we have adopted the policy of zero tolerance to plagiarism. You will be surprised to know that we have received 165 essays and out of 165 essays, only 92 essays were found good for the second level, for, uh, for forwarding to the second round. But out of these 92 essays, there were 53 essays which were having more than 5% of plagiarism. We thought the essays are very good, but the plagiarism was more than 5%. So they were rejected and only 39 essays have passed the test, below, uh, the test of below 5% plagiarism and selected for the second round. It is not intentional, you know, the author are not uh, like intentionally plagiarizing or copying the text, but we need to paraphrase the sentences. I will uh, guide you in the next slide how to do it. But the plagiarism is not at all expected. We need original content, original thought from your side. The author should not submit any copyrighted material without proper permission. There were some uh, essays which were having some uh, pictures from the website and they have not given the sources. But the author will be solely responsible for any issue arising out of copyright or conflict of interest submit of submitted essay because we are going to publish the awarded essay on our website. And if the copyright issue comes, the author will be responsible. So it is better to avoid all the copyrighted uh, copying the information without permission. You can uh, take it, but with the proper permission of the source, from the source. So how to how we can remove the plagiarism? That was one query. Uh, we can we have to understand and abstract the source in our own words. That is the first thing that you are reading the material from the website or the standard research article. You are understanding it, connecting it with your thought, 
you are putting your statement first and giving the reference of the standard source. That is the method to avoid plagiarism. You can quote references, cite the sources of copyright at relevant places. You and after doing this, you can check the plagiarism yourself on website. There are many softwares available on the website for plagiarism checking. You can uh, check it and uh, the Viper that we have uh, used as software for plagiarism check, that is a wonderful software, but we need to, uh, you need to purchase that credit of uh, checking the plagiarism. Uh, then this last is practice of writing and checking it repeatedly. We need to go again and again for our write-ups, check it and uh, check it repeatedly for the good content. Lastly, how to submit the essay. In order to follow a blind review system, identity should not be revealed in any form in the essay. You know, this, uh, uh, the name should be removed. We are taking every care that your essay is coded and uh, coded well, and uh, the database is having all the uh, required information which connects your essay with the proper with the proper code. So don't worry about it. You need to send the three files, the essay file in MS Word format without name or identity. Then this re registration form, fee the registration form, scan copy uh, of it, and receipt of the registration fees uh, for the new entries only like the old participants who have participated already in the competition, they need not to uh, go for the process, only they have to submit the earlier registration form. They need not to pay any registration fees. But the new entries, they can uh, pay the registration fees, they can uh, fill the registration form and send the essay. So is it clear that the old participant need to submit the revised essay file with the old registration form only, and the new uh, participants have to uh, send all the three files. You can mail the files to charaksanita at gmail.com till 30 September 2020. That is the timeline given for submission of revised essay. So, you know, this is a wonderful opportunity to update and upgrade ourselves and present ourselves on the global platform. We are giving a platform for you people to present your views on the health perspective, study, as well as it is also a writing upgradation process. As you no, this Charak Sahita Research, Training and Skill Development Center. That has three components, like the research, scaling, uh, training and skill development. It is a process of training. It is a process of upgrade, upgrading yourselves and learning from the thoughts. I will be happy to answer your queries. You can send the queries on email also, or you can ask uh, right now on the comment in the comment box also. So thus we come to end of uh, the day one of uh, education talk series. Uh, we are happy uh, that uh, uh, we had uh, two uh, eminent speakers, Dr. Upendra Dixit and Dr. Gopal Basish sir, today, uh, talking on the concept of health. Uh, we will join you tomorrow at five o'clock Indian time uh, with uh, two more lectures by uh, Professor Anup Thakar sir. Uh, in charge, uh, Vice Chancellor and Director, IPGTRA, and uh, Pawan Kumar Godatwar, sir, uh, Dean Research, National Institute of Ayurveda, Jaipur. So uh, please join us on Facebook. Uh, it will be live. If you have any queries, you can uh, send us on email or uh, WhatsApp. The participants can send us on WhatsApp and uh, Facebook account also. Thank you. Thank you, one and all.